Welcome to Tales of Honor, a podcast with a mission to tell the true stories of every recipient of our nation's highest military award, the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Tales of Honor podcast. This is episode number 492, and I have a couple orders of business to go over here before we jump into today's story. No birthdays. We're done with the birthdays for the month of February, so we'll pick back up in March. And uh, so that's all for birthdays. Next up, we're going to talk a little bit about the 6th Annual Medal of Honor Mail Call. If you're a longtime listener of the show, you have definitely heard me talk about this in the past. The Medal of Honor Mail Call was created by Janine Stange in 2017. And uh, it's a great way for Americans to express their gratitude personally to individual Medal of Honor recipients by writing them a letter. And uh, there are 66 living Medal of Honor recipients currently, and they're all up on both my website, but many other websites as well. And for those that don't know, Medal of Honor Day is an actual day. It's March 25th every single year. And uh, Medal of Honor Mail Call is a way to get all these letters to these living recipients before then or on then. Uh, So I will have a link in the show notes in order for you to get more information on who to write to, where to write to, and by when to do it. Uh, Sooner than later would be preferable. (laughs) So I'll have more uh, information to link in the show notes on the 6th Annual Medal of Honor Mail Call. Last but not least... A quick follow-up to the past couple shows where I've talked about the canvas from Dakota Meyer. The auction did end. Uh, I was able to find a new home for the 40 by 30 No Hero canvas from Dakota Meyer. It is going to uh, someplace I didn't think it was going to go. I thought it would go to some random stranger on the internet, but... In fact, it ended up. It's it's actually. I dropped it off at UPS today. It's en route to a childhood friend who is a listener of the show. We'll just go with Josh as his name. Um, very very thankful to his donation in order to you know to get this canvas. It's going to look great in his house because of his generosity. I was able to donate seventy five dollars to the National Medal of Honor Museum Foundation. And I did that yesterday. So a very special thank you to Josh for helping out. And uh, I expect some pictures when you have it in a nice place in your house. So that's all. (laughs) Thank you very much. Um, Hopefully this is something we can, I mean, I don't want more 40-inch canvases sitting in my house uh, to auction off. But maybe we can do something else in the future, some other items that can go out to help raise money for the Medal of Honor Museum as well. That's it. That's all I got for that follow-up. So let's jump right on into today's Tale of Honor. Thomas was born on the 7th of May, 1861, in Shelby Center, New York, a rural area between Niagara Falls and Rochester. He enlisted in the U.S. Marine Corps on the 21st of July, 1899, and in less than a year, he had deployed to China in support of the Boxer Rebellion as a private. It was here that his actions would later earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, In presence of the enemy during the advance in Tianjin, China, 21 June, 1900, Cates distinguished himself by meritorious conduct. One year later, Thomas received the Medal of Honor on the 19th of July, 1901, and he reached the rank of sergeant by the time he left the Marines in May of 1903. He was married to May, and the couple had one child, Doris, who died as an infant. Thomas Wilbur Cates died on the 6th of May, 1931, at the age of 69, and he is buried with his daughter in the Flushing Cemetery in Flushing, New York, Plot 3162, Section KPC. His Medal of Honor is located at the National Museum of the U.S. Marine Corps in Quantico, Virginia. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor. And if you enjoyed the show, please be sure to subscribe and tell your friends and family. Tales of Honor is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch and theme music is Loyalty and Duty by Florus Music. If you have any questions, you can send an email to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com and please be sure to visit talesofhonorpodcast.com for more episodes and information. 